Glory to the Father and blessings to you on today. We have a few prayer requests within our community concerning the spirit of witchcraft. On this altar, we acknowledge that every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord over all. And we know that even after heaven and earth pass away, the word of God shall remain. Hallelujah. So before we get into our prayer, I want to unpack a few things that we need to say about going into the battle against witchcraft. They need to be established before we even pray. Second Kings, first chapter, verses two through three says, Now Ahaziah had fallen through the lattice of his upper room in Samaria and injured himself. So he sent messengers saying to them, Go and consult Beelzebub, the god of Ekron, to see if I will recover from this injury. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Go up and meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and ask them, Is it because there is no god in Israel? that you are going off to consult Beelzebub, the god of Ekron? There's nothing new under the sun, people of God. Many people are still operating in, and also many people are being attacked by witchcraft and the occult. God calls us to confront this and break its stronghold over our life. But first, you must prepare for the battle. Mark 3 verse 27 says, In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. Then he can plunder the strong man's house. You must tie up the strong man. First, make sure you are not in agreement with Satan in any unknown way. Take time to repent and ask God to cleanse you. We need to be cleansed daily. We see much, we hear much, and there's so much evil that we are unaware of it. The effects take a part on our souls and our hearts. It affects us. People are wondering why they are even doing and saying things. It's because of what's been imparted in our heart by the evil that's coming at us on a daily basis. Set time to pull away in consecration, fasting, prayers and asking the Holy Spirit to show you how to go into war. The Holy Spirit will lead you on how to win in a spiritual battle. If the God of this world, which is Satan, can't find anything in you, if he doesn't have anything in common with you, then you can fight effectively. And with that being said, Psalms 2 is a powerful psalm that speaks of God's sovereignty and the ultimate victory of his anointed one. So if you need deliverance prayer in this area, join us as we explore five scripture-based prayers that are inspired by Psalm 2. Prayer for God's sovereignty. God's sovereignty is over every power, every power that's over the earth every power over the heavens. Recognize that God is sovereign over all creation because he made it. He created all things. All things are subject to Jesus Christ, including any form of witchcraft or evil forces. No power can stand against the Lord and his anointed. Psalms 2, 1 through 4 says, Why do the nations conspire and the people plot in vain? The king of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge your supreme authority over all the earth. The nations may conspire and rulers may rise against you. They may rise against us but their plans are in vain. You, O oh Lord, are enthroned in heaven. You reign with power and might. 
We trust in your sovereignty, knowing that you are in control of all things, including our safety and deliverance. Let your will be done on the earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. In Jesus name. A prayer for trust in God's plan. We must have faith in God's plan. Trust in God's perfect plan for your life, knowing that he has already declared victory over every form of darkness. As his children, we can ask for his protection and deliverance from any influence of witchcraft. Psalms 2, 7 through 8 says, I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today, I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance the ends of the earth, your possession. Let's pray. Lord, we stand on your promise that you have declared over your anointed ones. We pray for faith to trust in your plan for our lives. If you have given the nations as an inheritance to your son, we ask that you guide us in the paths you have ordained for us. May we seek your will above all else, knowing that you have a purpose and a plan that will prevail in our lives in Jesus name. A prayer for submission to God's authority. Submission to God's authority is vital. By submitting to God's authority and honoring Jesus Christ, we place ourselves under his divine protection. Hallelujah. This submission shields us from the destructive forces of witchcraft and other spiritual attacks. Psalms 2, 10 through 12 reads, Therefore, you kings, be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Let's pray. Lord, we pray for wisdom to serve you with reverence and awe. Help us to submit to your authority and recognize the Lordship of your Son, Jesus Christ, over our soul, body, and spirit, and over our households and families and every area of our lives. We seek to honor you in all our ways. We celebrate your rule with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have done you're doing and that you're going to do in our lives. Protect us from the path of destruction. Lead us to take refuge in you where we find true peace and blessing in Jesus name. A prayer for protection from rebellion. Rejection of rebellion is also important when you're battling against this spirit of witchcraft. Reject any form of rebellion against God in your life. Rejection against rebellion will re protect you because if you have rebellion against God, it can open doors to the influence of witchcraft. Pray for a heart aligned with God's truth and seek guidance to stay on the path of his righteousness. Psalms 2, 2 through 3. The kings of the earth rise up and rulers band together against the Lord and his anointed saying, let us break the chains, throw off their shackles. Let's pray. Father, we ask for your protection against the spirit of rebellion that seeks to rise against you through fighting us. Keep our hearts aligned with your truth and protect us from the influence of those who oppose your will. Help us not to oppose your will. May we remain faithful to your word May our lives be a testimony of your grace and power. Lead us in the way of righteousness and may we never stray from your path in Jesus name. A prayer for the nations. Intercession for the nations is important because when you pray for others, God will break the chains that are holding you bound. Pray for deliverance from witchcraft, not only for yourself, but also for your community your family, your nation. As you intercede for others, God's power can break strongholds and bring about spiritual freedom in your life. Psalm 2, 8 says, Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. Let us pray. Lord, we lift up the nations to you. 
asking that your will be done across the earth. We pray for the spread of the gospel to every corner of the world, that all may come to know you and the power of your salvation and the power of your resurrection. Hallelujah. Raise up leaders to honor you and bring about transformation in communities and countries in Jesus' name. Lord, may your kingdom come and your name be glorified among the nations in Jesus' name. These type of prayers that are based on the word of God can draw on things of God's sovereignty, the authority of Christ, and your need and my need to trust and submit to God's will as expressed in Psalm 2. I want you to remember these points. They are important in maintaining deliverance from witchcraft. You have the victory through the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony over witchcraft powers. Acknowledge God's sovereignty, trust his plan, submit to his authority, reject rebellion, and continue to pray for deliverance from witchcraft. Pray for deliverance from every evil power that has been sent to distract, destruct, and deceive you in Jesus' name. Blessed is the one who puts his or her trust in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Repent of transgressions, iniquities, and sins. Ask Holy Ghost to show you if anything needs to be repented of. If he shows you anything, if anything comes to mind, he will show you open doors that you're not aware of that can cause a curse to the land. Proverbs 26 verse 2 says, A curse without a cause cannot land. It cannot stay. So find out the cause through inquiry prayers of the Lord. Get a spiritual diagnosis through the power of the Holy Ghost. Remember, forgive those who have wronged you. This is key. Put vengeance in the hands of the Lord. Disagree with being cursed and agree that you are blessed. Do this consistently until you see change. Hone in and don't give up because prayer is your weapon. It's your weapon against this spirit. So agree that you are blessed. Disagree that you are cursed. Pray God's word because it's effective against the powers of witchcraft. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Madra Bell, and I pray these prayers and insights from Psalms 2 have blessed you and strengthened your faith. As we go, remember this. I love you, but more importantly, God loves you with an everlasting love. He's sovereign, he's in control, and he's fighting for you. Stay encouraged, stay in his word, and keep trusting his plan. If you have a prayer request, connect with me on madrabell.com. The links are in the description. Until next time, be blessed and walk in victory. God bless you.